Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm like such a bum. Alright, let's go. Guys, the last day in Chicago. I am just getting in the car with Lampard. Gonna go to his game and then head to the airport. As you can see, it's sunny, but snow on the ground. It's pretty cold, but it's not as cold as it was the last few days. But yeah, excited to get back to some warmer weather. What are you going to work on with the players today? Uh, today we'll be working on some 1v1 penetrating using the side players, so trying to get behind the defender. We're going nice. to start with 1v1 with two players outside, two neutral players outside, then we'll move on to 2v2s to 3v3s. Nice, the man with the plan. I'm looking forward to watching the yeah. session. Looking forward to it. We've got our fridge. Uh, the coaches came to put their drinks and food in here. Quality. Beer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> our plan to schedule. Great setup. Schedules here, player setups, boss's office. Mm. This is what a real club should look like. Yes. Awesome. Then we got some coaches' lounge. It's class. And our training facility. Unreal. Yeah, I'll show you in the back. Is this like a gym? Our club is located in St. Charles, Illinois. It's a great, great club. Uh, probably the best club in the location or anywhere nearby. So, go Campton. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just here with Lampard at Campton United. He's been showing me around. This is the club that Lampard works at. Um, they've got their own indoor facility. They've got a gym area. I just took you around the rest. This is an awesome setup that is pretty unique. I haven't seen anything like this in, for a club. And like you've got what teams are playing back there? Yeah. Uh, so we got 2002s and 2001s training. Um, the, the good, I mean, it's a perfect setup. We got two goals, the curtains, walls are all, all around it. You don't need to chase after the balls. So Unreal setup. Yeah. And then where we're standing right now is like a gym area. Correct? Right. So players come in once or twice a week. They do um, uh, weight work with the actually pro um, body, uh, body, what do you call that? Bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. So he comes in every week working with the trainers. We do agility work with Caesar, play for UCLA. I and just then, met Caesar uh, yeah, over there, so great, great guys. guy. Great um, guy. And then we train, which is physically to get stronger. Great. And we got all of, all of our weights here. TR expands, boxes to jump on. Great setup. Yeah, guys, really unbelievable setup. I'm like, wow, this is this is awesome. Coming here would be, if I was a player at this club, I'd be buzzing to be in, in here. It looks brilliant. I'd be buzzing to train. Great club. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why they employed this guy, though. <laughs> Yeah, just ping it. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter.
there, you defend, you move to the side, and then you just go back to the line. Yes? Ready? Get your foot. And go. Yeah. Movement. You can't get it. Yes, there we go. Okay, now rotate it. So that was it. You're trying to get it to the uh, goalkeeper. Point the game. Yes, you stay there. Yeah. So again, hold it there. Well done. Okay, not bad. So the idea is get defenders engaging. You're trying to play the ball outside and you're trying to get behind them. Very good. Let me go. A couple of words would be nice there. Working on that. So we're working on players trying to pass the ball forward. A lot of times in the game, they're either moving sideways or sometimes even backwards. We're trying to help the players install the mind of, let's be positive, let's mm -hmm. play forward when we can. Awesome. And also the timing of it, technical part of it. Right now, I'm trying to help the players to figure out um, the activity by themselves. But in a few minutes, I'm going to jump in and then uh, we'll correct and give them more ideas, some of the other um, ways to play it, ways to play forward. So at the minute, just stage one, keep it simple. Awesome. This is a really good experience for me watching Lampard coach his team. He's just coaching behind me. Because um, we can kind of communicate on the side about what I think might, the kids might need or what this, what's good about the session or if I've got any points for him. And um, yeah, I just had a little meeting with the kids and chatted to them a little bit. Very cool experience to watch uh, Lampard in his club environment. And uh, he's teaching the kids to play the right way, play positively and literally taking stuff that we learned at the convention and putting it straight into practice. Um, in his environment. So this is really good. Good experience for me before I fly in literally a couple of hours. So this is awesome. <laughs> okay, so cover, pressure, but ideally, if they don't come quick enough, I'm just going to play it, right? So make sure you press quickly. Does, it, does that make sense? Once you're done attacking, because the other team's going to play quick, I want you to be switched on, turn around, and defend right away, yeah? yeah. Okay, same deal, play with the outside. There, ready? And go! Step, step, step! First thing to get... So what about uh, Vincent getting the ball, Ryan to come about here? What if I come quick, then you? What would you do then? Play the ball and then get behind. It might be you, it might be Ryan, yeah? Does that make sense? Okay, so two scenarios. If they don't come quick enough, can we play the ball forward? If they do come quick enough, can we play the ball outside? Uh, yeah? This is really, really good to watch, guys. What an awesome facility this is. The club's got their own indoor facility, and um, it's got, like we just spoke about before, it's got its own little bit of a gym. It's got a coaches area in the back, TVs. It's just awesome. Like, look at this place. 
if I was a player, I'd be so excited to come to training if this was the facility I was training at. So you're halfway there when you've got the players mentally ready before they come to practice because they've got such a good environment to be able to play in. Really, really awesome. Um, obviously, you need indoor in Chicago because the weather is so cold that you can't play all year here. Um, so having this is really, really amazing. I'm like excited to be here just to watch, uh, watch Lampard train. It's excellent. Looking at you two, and he scored that. So he keeps it was too late again, wasn't it? Earlier, earlier. Save. as a goalkeeper for any player when I play a pass I know what not just that but I've got to think about how he wants it because at the end of the pass who's gonna get it me or him so I've got to make it nice for him pass appreciation right so that is not good it's complicated by you guys the players and coaches but you've got to remember the basics in soccer so focus on your fundamentals your first touches looking around the field when you're playing, passes, the weight of your passes. Don't overcomplicate. See, a lot of us, maybe we watch Neymar and he, he's doing all these. So we come out here and what do we do? We try that stuff. Most of the time at you guys' age, what do you want to focus on more than just trying to beat players all the time? Skills. Skills, yes, but first you need the fundamentals. You need the basics, right. If you've got a perfect first touch and a perfect pass every single time, then you can start thinking about doing step overs. Yeah? So right now, for the next probably year, two, three, four years in your development, make sure you're working on your touches okay? and watch the game as well. Okay? When you go home, watch soccer. Don't just watch it to think, oh, I want to see a great goal. Watch it and think about how can I take something from this player on TV and bring it to my game. Yeah? And then come out here and actually try and get functionally better. Does that make sense? Yeah. Rather than overcomplicate. So there's anything that I could give to you guys who are younger, because I've worked with guys that are a lot older than you and a lot younger. You've got to focus on the basics of the game. Does that make sense? And just keep the game simple. Yeah, don't think about all those skills. Just touch the ball out and just think about touch, pass the ball and then move. If you can get that perfect over and over and over again, you're going to start to create space and field. The game's going to be easier for you at the weekends, right? You're going to keep possession. If you boys have got possession of the ball, who's running? The other team, correct. So you're going to have more time on the ball and it starts to become easier, yeah? And then you can start doing the difficult things. All right, boys, but well done. It was good to watch you guys. Thanks for letting me stand around and watch you. And uh, let's get a quick pick and I'll put you on my, uh, my stuff later. All right? All right, boys, well done. Lampard, do you have anything to add? No, great. Great job. Right, so we're on the way to the airport now. Just finished watching Lampard's session at Campton United. So thanks to Lampard for letting me come out and watch the session and speak to the boys. It was a really good experience. I'm heading to the airport right now and I'm flying to Vegas as my birthday is tomorrow. So we're going to be staying there for a few days and then I'll be back in California starting work again. So Chicago, what an experience it's been. Lampard, any finishing statements? Yes, guys, uh, it's been 
I've been with Sam for five, six days here in Chicago. It's been great having him again. Uh, been a while since I last saw him, so yeah, been a while. hopefully um, I can go up back to, uh, back into San Diego and then we can start doing some work together. Definitely. So thanks, Lampard, for having me. It's been a great time. I'll speak a little bit more about the convention a little bit later, and I'm not sure where this clip's going to go, but just wanted to check out now as I'm flying.